Hi, Pauline. Hi, do you have? Inside? I'm great. Do you have a minute for Hi Canada Magazine community? Uh, we're doing a live feed, a virtual walk around for our readers and viewers and listeners. It would be listeners. our pleasure. So, have you? We we are at a reinvented, reimagined, uh, repurposed Grow Up conference. All yes. new, all different. What are three takeaways from the last couple of days for you? Have you enjoyed yourself? You know what? It's been great. Uh, I know that um, the show isn't as big as we're used to, but I think what we're getting used to right now is a smaller, more intimate show where real business gets done. For us, it's been hugely successful. We've made some great connections. I've actually met people in the industry that I've known on social media for many years for the first time at this show. And that, for me, was probably one of the, one of the highlights. I mean, I met some really incredible people that I've wanted to connect with. Uh, other than that, I mean, I, the outdoor hash, uh, I mean, those, the cups were just amazing. The energy that was there, uh, the vibe, being able to smoke out front like that is in a community and a real sense of camaraderie. I mean, I just think we all got together and had a really good time. You know, I was just outside smoking a little uh, a pre-game joint before I came inside and I was talking to Ramo. And his takeaway was how much community we ex we brought back with this particular show, and how how missed yeah. that sense of community was. And I actually think this show might have been mm -hmm. able to rekindle that sense of community that everybody's been you know, lacking in. I think we're all looking for that. We all need each other to succeed. The way I see it, you stand on somebody else's shoulders, then you let somebody stand on yours. That's we okay. need to pull each other up. Right now, I feel like we went through a bit of a phase where everybody's in their own little silo trying to do their own jam. Yeah. But in this show, it was about collaboration. It was about thanking the person that's beside you and that, was, that, that brought you to where you are. And we're holding out our hand and wanting to pull people in. You know, that's, that's what, what we're talking about right now. That's what I loved about this new style of judging that Ramo came up with. I sat next to, I was on a row of people, and every sample I was a community sample. Yeah. So we'd all smoke, we'd discuss pros and cons, and it was the most en engaging, wonderful warm sense of community that I have felt in such a long there, time. Yeah, I know. It, there was a lot of great people. We shook a lot of nice new hands. We met, we made some new friends. We saw some old friends that we, you know, are staples in this industry. Uh, I mean, it really couldn't have gone better for us. Now, I'm just going to point out that what's this? Um, there's also a big winner sign, Best Cannabis Consultant. Congratulations. We're very grateful. It's, it's our team, uh, Hyde Advisory and Canon Navigators. We've been in this space for a long time, and we have a lot of respect for our clients. We have a lot of respect for the plant, and a lot of respect for how hard people work to, to get us to where we are today. Uh, you know, it's a team effort. Uh, our, our colleagues, our competitors, our team, our staff, Staff, how hard we work personally. It's a privilege to be recognized and to be able to keep moving forward and offer the services that we feel people are really needing and looking for well, right now. Let me share a wonderful coincidence with our viewers. So this particular issue of High Canada Magazine, issue 75, we did a big feature on uh, a few individuals that we think are really uh, leading by example and there's one in particular, our cover feature, Paul Bernier. What a great guy. Uh, Healthview Farms. I I didn't actually know that uh, that you were inv uh, your groups were involved with helping Paul out, and I am so incredibly mm -hmm. impressed with Healthview Farms and the stance they're taking, the uh, the time they're taking to do it right. I've watched Paul be work on this for for years, this dream, and to to find out last night that you uh, that your groups were also involved and and holding him up and what, what I consider to be the best of the best. Uh, really I was like, awesome. oh, I was so proud, so proud. You know, well, we've known Paul for a long time, and he's been doing things right for yeah. a long time. Uh, he doesn't like to cut corners, he likes to, to do it right, and you can tell by the facility. And I found out last night he doesn't like to talk about what he's doing, because had no, I known that, I would have included that in the article. Yeah, no, man, he is, uh, he's a top-notch guy, with he is. a top-notch facility. Top-notch team, somewhere. I hear. Yeah. Listen, man, they are incredible. And we're, we were privileged to work alongside them, and of course, we could only do so much of our job, but at the end of the day, they did their job really, really well to get themselves licensed. Oh, absolutely. We were there to just support and guide and prepare, 
but they were the ones that did all the hard work and I give them all the credit. So for next it. year at the sixth annual Grow Up Conference, we're gonna touch on and see how they're doing. We'll right, check listen, in on I look forward them. To okay. It. Pauline, thank you so pleasure, much. Guys. Okay, I'm gonna thank keep walking you. around. Thanks, guys. So yeah, some some amazing